So today we're talking about uh, breast cancer in regards to patients who have had radiation to fight their cancer. So when a patient is diagnosed with cancer, the most standard um, treatment for them is to have a course of chemotherapy and radiation therapy. When patients undergo radiation, you don't just get the bad cells. You do damage, um, sometimes there's damage to the good cells around the cancer as well. Uh, so when the radiation hits the tissue, what it does is it compromises the blood flow and could create wounds that have you know, difficulty healing. These wounds, um, because of lack of blood flow, can be um, you know, consistent for a patient for months, years, um, without any you know, signs of healing. So when it comes to hyperbaric oxygen therapy for radiation injury, it's a standard medical care. Uh, it's all natural treatment covered by most insurance companies to help patients recover from damage that they've received from having radiation with various cancers. So with our patients that we recently treated with their breast cancer, they had um, lumpectomies and our you know, surgeries to remove uh, the cancer and they had issues healing. So from having the hyperbarics, that's what helps stimulate blood flow, really uh, reduce risk of infection, uh, reduce swelling, decrease their pain, and overall heal them by creating angiogenesis, which is the creation of micro uh, circular uh, blood vessels. Uh, so that way it can help uh, increase circulation to promote the healing for them. Um, most of them have healed in as little as 10 treatments, some took uh, around 40, but overall all the ladies that we've treated so far have completely healed from their radiation damage to their tissues to their breasts.